What's up guys, it's River Rat Productions and today I'm going to be doing another Mystery Tackle Box Elite Unboxing and I love getting these every month. Um, you never know exactly what type of lures you're going to get but it's always nice to try some new ones and some new techniques so that's why I personally like to get this every month. So if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. We're on our way to 1k and also make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. And I'll also have a link down below where you can pick up your own Mystery Tackle Box so you guys can uh, try it out for yourselves if you want to. I will be going down to South Carolina here uh, tomorrow actually, so hopefully I can get some content for you guys for that. Um, I'm going to be down near Myrtle Beach, so if any of you guys have any ideas for anything down there, let me know. I have an idea in mind, but if anybody has a better one, that'd be cool too, so... If you got any ideas just let me know down below and let's get into it guys all right guys let's cut into it and see what we get Ooh, this actually looks pretty nice just from first glance so the first thing I'm gonna grab is this right here um, I'm not really too sure what it is um, it looks like it's a topwater bait, and it is a. Uh, it's called the headbanger. I've actually never seen these before, so this is actually a pretty cool lure. Um, I'm not really too familiar with topwater. I've used like whopper ploppers and poppers a lot. Um, I've actually never used anything like this. It has a very interesting head on it. I would love to see the action on this, so I'm definitely gonna try to throw this, and I feel like it's. Honestly, probably that perfect size for some small mouth. So, I feel like it would work pretty well. Um, it says the head what? It says the head banger Spitfire. It's one versatile topwater bait. The patented action lip at the front kicks up a ton of water during medium to fast retrieve. Perfect for dirtier water and when you're trying to draw the fish up from deeper. So, it's actually pretty cool. So, you guys can see the, the lip right there has a very weird shape to it. I've never seen something like that. So this is definitely unique and that's why I love getting these mystery tackle boxes every month. Then we got this Beast Coast and it is a working man's premium swim jig. And that honestly looks pretty awesome. Um, it is isn't a quarter of an ounce and it's called Pro Pumpkin is the color. Um, I love the eye on it and it looks like the weed guard's pretty good. It also looks like it has a really, really sharp hook on it. So that might actually be perfect for uh, whenever I go down to South Carolina here tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited about trying this. I'll definitely bring this with me. And I feel like we can probably get some pretty good bites on this. So I definitely want to try it out. The skirt's really nice on it. It has uh, some green uh, flash in there. I feel like it would draw the bass's attention to it just because of all the flash it has and it looks like it has a pretty good profile so definitely can't wait to try that out so definitely excited about that and then we got the GT football jig and it is the golden team series and it's armed with a VMC hook um, it's a four out hook and let's see it is a green pumpkin red slash purple so, this is actually a pretty sick looking jig, honestly. I'm definitely probably going to bring this with me. Um, it definitely has that look to it that would do really, really well, especially with it having a VMC hook. Those hooks are really sharp, and um, it supposedly has a eyelet positioned at 60 degrees, so it won't get hung up as much. So, honestly, I cannot wait to try this. Um, I'll let you guys know how these baits go that I get out of this box, so make sure you stay tuned for uh, the videos I'm going to be posting here pretty soon, because I'll probably be using these lures, but wow, those, that's an awesome little jig there, so I can't wait to try it out. It looks like it's really good quality, hook looks really sharp, and the head looks like it'll do pretty good. And then we got some Spearpoint EWGs, and it is in a 3 aught size, and I've got these out of my Mystery Tackle box before. Um, if you guys can see right there, the the bends and the hooks. It's definitely a very unique looking hook so 
Um, I haven't used them yet, but I've heard that they're pretty good. Um, I think they actually put some extra hooks in here. There's only supposed to be three in here, but it looks like I got like five or six, so it's pretty awesome. Definitely can't complain. It's never a bad thing to get any extra hooks. And it has the V-grip in the bend of the hook here, so supposedly that will keep the fish on better. If you guys can see that right there, it's right where my finger's at. But yeah, I feel like that'll do pretty good. I'm actually going to try these out probably. And then we got a buzz bait, and this is a prop knocker, and it is a Razor Custom Tackle, is the company who makes it. Um, it is uh, actually pretty nice. It looks like came in this very unique packaging. Um, the skirt looks like it's pretty high quality. It looks like it's hand tied on there. The blade on it looks pretty good. So, and it also has a must add hook on it. So, it has a five out on there. And I definitely feel like this would get slammed, especially being like a 3 8 ounce. That's a pretty good weight for stuff like that. And um, yeah, that color, smallmouth, hate that color, or just bass in general. So I definitely feel like this will do really, really well. And then we got the ARC CT35, and this is a square bill. Um, it does not, oh, no, here's the color. Um, it is a chartreuse at black back. So, that actually looks really good. Um, I can't wait to try that out. That's That would be really good in stained water. It also has rattles in it, so there's some silent crate baits, and then there's some that have rattles in it. And uh, whenever it has rattles, generally that attracts fish whenever the colors are murkier in the water. So, like, whenever it's stained or really, really murky, this would be a good color to throw. Especially with the rattles, it would draw them in from pretty far away, so... Definitely not a bad thing. Um, I think I've actually got an arc square bill before, but I don't remember if I used it. I think I actually might have gave it away, but yeah, that is an awesome little square bill. I can't wait to try that out. And then we got a Aaron's bait, and it's a four inch dragon tail, and it looks like it's in a a sort of green pumpkin color, and it looks like it would be really good on some shaky heads. So if you guys can see that right there, I definitely feel like this would do really well. Um, especially for some smallmouth, it's like the perfect size to draw in some pretty good bites. Um, I definitely feel like this would work really well, like I said, on a shaky head, but you can also take this or get this too and do pretty well. But I definitely feel like it would do pretty good just because it has these ribs in it and it looks like it would have pretty good action, especially with the tail right here. If you guys can see that so that's awesome um, I've never actually heard of this company before so I'm gonna go look them up actually on Instagram after this and then we got the Lake Fort trophy lures and uh, they are garlic and salt scented um, it's, it's a hyper freak three and a three quarters of an inch and a watermelon candy red flake I love that color but you could also Texas rig these, uh, wacky rig it, uh, put it on a Carolina rig, uh, weightless rig it, um, drop shot, or uh, finesse rigs or shake kids. So I'll definitely be trying this out. I'm actually kind of curious how they'll do. Um, they look pretty nice. I, I feel like they'll do pretty good. But yeah, those definitely look pretty awesome. So definitely can't wait to try it out. And then we got the Z-Man Goat, and this one is in the three and three quarters of an inch, and it's in a watermelon red color. So I actually bought a pack of these. I bought it in, uh, I can't remember actually what color. It was one of the uh, crawl imitating patterns, uh, and one of the bright reds, and I put it on my chatterbait. But it's definitely awesome that I got uh, another one of these. I was definitely wanting to try it on like a Texas rig or on a Ned rig. I feel like that would do pretty good. So I can't wait to try these out and I'm glad I got some more. So I've heard that these are really, really good. So I guess I'm going to have to be the judge of that. I'm definitely going to be taking these down to South Carolina with me. It tells you where to fish the Headbanger Spitfire. Um, it tells you what gear it recommends. Um, it gives a little summary of it. Here's a little... Uh, chart if you guys want to pause that if you think about getting your own 
and there's the little description right there. So I'll read that after this. Um, we also got this pretty cool sticker. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually probably one of my favorites. It's just very uh, unique. The camera will focus in on it. So that's awesome. I love getting stickers. I put it on my tackle box. Um, and then you get the dibble. Um, it says the April Fools, how to successfully fish a ledge, moving baits for panfish, um, five trolling tactics for tanker walleye, uh, snook fishing 101, why red lures crush in the spring, mustard flavored fish, four ways to fish a drop shot rig, and securing the bag cautiously. And then it has a little puzzle on the back. So, it's definitely nice, even if you have been fishing for a while, to just read through this. There's definitely some pretty interesting things in there, and there's something for everybody. Now I'm going to go over what exactly was in the box, and how much each lure was worth, and if I think the box is worth it for the month. So the first lure was the Headbanger Spitfire for $14.99, and this is definitely a pretty unique bait. I haven't seen anything really like it too much. So... I'm excited to try it out, especially now that top water season's here. That's something I want to get more content for you guys this year. It's definitely more top water blow ups, so this might be a way. And then the next one on the list is Team Arc Square Bill Crankbait, the CT35, and it is $7.99. And like I said earlier, this would do really good in stained water. I feel like this would do really, really well in that scenario, but and anything like stained or murky this would shine especially whenever the bass are up shallow chasing bait fish i feel like this would this would do really well so i can't wait to throw this i'm definitely going to be bringing this down there with me so i'll let you guys know if i catch anything off of it and then we got the razor custom tackle prop knocker for 750 and i don't really know too much about buzz baits so I can't really say too, too much about it, but definitely can't wait to try it out. Um, I've, like I said earlier, I want to get more into top water this year. So I feel like this would do pretty well, especially with that chartreuse and white color. I feel like that's going to do really, really well. And it looks like it's a pretty good quality uh, buzz bait. And then we got the Molex GT football jig for $5.79. And this is going to do really well, especially with the line tie being up at 60 degrees and being positioned that way. I feel like it's not going to get stuck as much, so that'll be awesome. And it also has a VMC hook in it, and that skirt I really feel like will do really well. So I'm definitely going to make sure I bring this down to the beach with me. So hopefully uh, we'll catch the fish off of some of these lures. Then we got the Beast Coast Fishing Working Man Swim Jig for $5.79, and... I love this little swim jig. I can't wait to try it actually. So I love the little eye on it and also the skirt looks pretty good quality and the hook's really sharp and the weed guard looks really nice too. So I definitely feel like that's going to get bit, especially if I put a little paddle tail on the back of it. I feel like this will do really, really well or even like a creature style bait to cause a lot more commotion. So I can't wait to give that a shot. And then we got the Aaron's Bait Dragon Tail for $5.49. That's these right here. This would do really good on like a Texas rig or a shaky head. So these would do great, especially whenever the bass are a little bit more lethargic and don't really want to bite as much. This would be a definitely a good finesse way to go. And it's the perfect size for small mouth, so I definitely feel like this would do really good. Then we got the Z-Man Goat. And I love Z-Man products. I've been a big fan ever since I started doing the Ned Rig. So, I actually, this is the second pack I've ever got of these. And this is in the watermelon red color. And this is a three and three quarters of an inch. So, this color is a pretty good color for around here. So, I'm actually pretty excited to get some of these. And I definitely can't wait to try it out. And then we got the Lake Fort Trophy Lures uh, Hyper Freak for $4.55. And this would do good on like a Texas rig or a wacky rig or a Carolina rig, weightless rig, drop shot, or putting it on a shaky head. This would shine. So I definitely can't wait to try these out. It looks like they would do pretty good around here, especially with the, the floats in it. I feel like that would 
drawn the bass's attention pretty easily. And then we got the spear point performance hooks for 290 and I definitely think they put too many hooks in here but I'm not going to really complain. It's always nice to have some extra hooks so that v-grip looks like it would do really good at holding the fish on but I definitely need to try these out first before I can say for sure. Personally I definitely think this box was worth it this month and every month I've got it I've never been disappointed with it. It's always a good way to find new brands that you've never actually heard of before because I haven't heard of a good majority of those and I, I'm actually pretty excited I got all of them. Um, I definitely feel like they'll do really well. So if you guys are interested in picking up your own, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can pick that up. If you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, especially now that we're on our way to 1K. Also, thank you so much for helping me hit 400 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please smash that subscribe button down below. 89.6% of you guys were not subscribed on the last MTB video, so if you guys would want to help me out reaching 1k, definitely make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram too. I post updates there, like whenever I'm going to be releasing videos, and you can probably hear about it there first. And I'll also leave a link down below where you can pick up your own MTB. But until next time guys, see you later.